It's the holiday season, a time for togetherness and celebration. For many of us, it's a season of giving. Unfortunately, the gift giving process from purchasing the perfect gift to making sure it gets to the recipient also brings opportunities for scammers to enrich themselves. With me this morning is Deb with AARP to break this down. Hi, Deb. Good morning. So online shopping makes buying holiday gifts so much easier, as we all know, but what are the risks of this convenience? Well, this time of year, we see more emails and online ads and social media posts. I see a lot of those, and they're touting their incredible deals. And unfortunately, many of those are scams. So if we click on those sites, ultimately we could end up on a fake retail website. It might look legitimate, but it really isn't. So if you buy something that never arrives or is low quality version of what you expect, that's very possible. In fact, it happened to me a few years ago when my granddaughter sent an UGS site to me. I ordered, not thinking, and three months later, I got a stinky pair of UGS boots, poor quality. So if you visit a fake, uh, fake site, they can also get your passwords and your login information and even your account information. Yeah, and that's scary because it can happen so often. So how can people avoid online shopping scams? Well, number one, the old adage, if it seems to be good, too good to be true, it is. Um, if the discount is greater than 55%, that's always a red flag. Um, so slow down, think before you click. You know, that's just a good phrase to keep in your mind. Um, if you haven't heard of a company, please check it out. Take the time. Um, instead of clicking on the link, go to your web browser and put the company name in there. And you can always add a word like complaint, scam, fraud. See if there's any negative information out there about that company. Or um, if you know the web address of the company, go to your browser and key it in yourself instead of using that link and that way you're gonna avoid a clone site. Also look for misspellings, um, limited contact information because they don't want you contacting them and also unprofessional looking sites. So gift card scams are another gift that can go awry if you aren't careful, how does that work? Well, the criminals go to the store and you see all the racks of those gift cards out there. They secretly scratch off that film on the back of the cards and to get the pin. They cover it back up with a replacement sticker that is easy to, to get. So then the scammer uh, uses a program and enters the card number and the pin and it notifies them when the card has been activated, purchased, activated and loaded. So then they're able to drain the card value before the buyer and the gift card recipient are any the wiser. Um, so it's just be careful. Yeah, absolutely. And so how can we go about avoiding the gift card scams? Look for those little tags is my my comment. You know, every gift card I've seen doesn't have a peel off sticker. It has that film. So look for that and be wary if you see that it's a sticker and not the film. Also, you can purchase on, online directly from the company or if the store is local, go directly to the store and, and buy your gift card. Yeah, absolutely. So I know that year end is when many charities raise a significant portion of their funds. So of course, scammers want in on that action, right? They sure do, yeah. So what are some red flags to watch for? Well, if anyone's putting pressure on you to give right away, that is a red flag. You know, just be very wary of it. Uh, if they're a true charity, that's not activity that they would do. Um, also, if they're asking for payment by cash, gift card, or wire transfer, wire transfer is never, if ever, uh, reversible, and you'll never get your cash or gift card back. Um, research the charity also. I took the time to look into this. You can go to give.org and key in the name of the charity or charitynavigator.org, two really good sites, and look at those before giving. Yeah, absolutely. So where can people find more information or talk to someone if they think they've been scammed? 
good question. You can always call the AERP Fraud Watch Network helpline. It's 877-908-3360, or you can go to aarp.org slash fraud watch network. And remember, awareness is key. Slow down. We're all in a hurry this time of year and think before you click. All right, thanks, Deb. More of North Thank Dakota you. Today will be back after the break. <laughs> 